Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. I'm in the car, as you see, and oh, the morning light peeking through the trees is just gorgina. So stunning. And you can see, can you see Sutra Tower? I. So honestly, us having street cleaning on our street this morning was the driving reason as to why I got out of the house before nine. Otherwise, I probably would have just stayed home and edited, but I needed to move my car anyway. So I decided to book myself a yoga class this morning. I think I mentioned last night, I did go to a yoga class as well. And I didn't realize when I booked it, but it was a yin yoga class. So it was very much restorative and very meditative. Rather than flowing through a series of poses, we just kind of held each pose for like minutes. It was a really good stretch and by the end of it, I was half asleep and ready to go to bed. Today, I wanted to take it relatively easy and just kind of prep my body as I have a long run this morning. Or no, not this morning, this weekend. I feel like flowing and growing this morning, you know? I was considering doing a shakeout run before tomorrow, but it's so funny because in addition to street cleaning this morning it was also garbage day and recycling day so i had gotten out of bed a little bit late and missed the initial truck that came by who picks up stuff on our side of the street i had a big old stack of boxes in my room that i needed to get rid of so i quickly ran it down and ran it up the street on the opposite side my knees and my legs were feeling a little riggedy and that was concerning so i was like i gotta take it a little easy today i wanted to get moving in some way this morning so yeah that was my long spiel on why i'm doing yoga this morning wearing the new set from gymshark i'm gonna be walking in there feeling confident confident yes we are speed walking because it's 904 i hate being late too fitness workout classes and whenever I take yoga I like to come or get there at least 15 minutes early so I can just settle into my space you know but no I'm gonna have to like rush it to the locker room drop off my stuff oh wow I'm seeing so many cute shops here on Union Street I really need to walk up and down this street a little oh I've heard of this boutique noted noted Five minutes to spare, it's always so nice when I come and all the lockers are facing this way. So it means it's pretty empty. So I wrapped up my yoga class, it was great. It was also not a super packed class, which is always nice, just having extra room around you. But yeah, I did stay around for a little longer at the gym to number one, foam roll, which I didn't record, and then number two, just do a little bit of strength. Did end up doing a lot of single leg balancing, unilateral work, and then also some core. I didn't wanna do anything too heavy, but all these moves felt really good in my body. I initially had on a 30 minute strength for runners workout class going on my phone. So that was playing in my AirPods and I was following that for the most part. I got Got some inspiration for some of these moves. This single leg RDL with a rotation. I was definitely playing around with that. My balance today was not it. <laughs> you can see one side was significantly more unbalanced. Like as soon as I got onto my right foot, I just kept tumbling. Probably should have just gone lighter with the kettlebell so that I'm not toppling over. But honestly, the little wobbles and the fighting to stay balanced, that's a good workout in itself. Literally everything is working to keep yourself upright from your core, from your legs. Played around with these single leg wood choppers. So not only bringing the kettlebell from side to side, but also up and down. I'm giving my bicep a little kissy kiss each time. I love a good weighted march. I actually don't know what the proper name of this is, but basically I'm just holding one kettlebell over my head and I'm alternating my legs to go in a 90 degree angle to really feel this in the core i try not to just shift side to side but really just try and have my hips stay in line and kind of keep the center of balance balanced i don't know definitely try it move very very slow and in control with this one as of lately the gorilla row has been one of my favorite row variations i think it's just unique because you are you know alternating working one side at a time but that other side is still 
being activated. You wanna feel like you're pushing your weight into the kettlebell that's on the ground, but you're rowing with the other one. And by the way, I was just kind of rotating through all these exercises. I wasn't doing four sets of this and then moved on to this. I kind of did one exercise after the other and then repeated that one or two more times. Just being intuitive with it. At this point too, the workout that I was playing in my AirPods, I still let it run, but I wasn't necessarily following it. I kind of used that as a way to kickstart my workout. Sometimes that's all you need. If you ever feel a little bit unmotivated in the gym, I would say just start doing something for three to five minutes. And by the time those three to five minutes are up, you should already slowly be getting into your groove. It's definitely what happened today. Even if it was just 30 minutes, I was able to get through it. Did some core, good old Russian twist. I did hop back into the video that I had playing because I wanted to give this bodyweight lunge combination a try. For some reason, it took a lot of mental power, but I really enjoyed it and no need for weight on these, honestly. But yeah, today was just one of those days where I felt like staying in one spot, get my mat, a couple of kettlebells and do simple exercises. Nothing too strenuous, but more than enough. I just wrapped up, I'm heading back to my car and I passed by this storefront and it says the best subs in San Francisco. Now, is that true? I don't know, but they got me with that marketing. I've been editing. I've been editing for like the past two hours or so, but I was doing it outside in the living room in front of the tree. My parents are out there now. I figured we could change up the scenery, get cozy here in my room. I've got my lights going here. I've got the lights here at my desk. Got the candle going. The vibes are high. And I think I need to buy Elf on Amazon Prime Video because I have to watch it every year. It's my favorite Christmas movie. I kind of just want to have it on in the background because I have my double double monitor situation while i'm editing on my desktop i can have elf playing eee, and i haven't watched it yet and it's on sale it's 4.99 right now I'm just letting y'all know once i buy it i can watch it for the rest of my life five dollars to have it for a lifetime such a good deal i cannot pass that up oh i don't know whose card that got purchased on merry christmas to me yay bum, bum. Usually when I edit, I like to have something playing on the second screen. <laughs> Normally I'll go on YouTube and put on jazzy, lo-fi. It's one of those ones that lasts hours and hours. So I have it on for the coffee shop ambiance. But yeah, what better way to get in the Christmas spirit than with a Christmas movie? I also ran out of Vlogmas videos to watch. So, movie it is. news i finished my video it's uploading now set it to go live tomorrow which is good I'm glad that that's done with but now it is nine o'clock which is pretty late for me to be eating considering i want to sleep early and wake up early for my long run tomorrow i did eat the other ginormous half of my sandwich but i don't know i feel like i'm gonna need more to fuel my run we got some yummy soup going and also had pasta in it and i'm also having Half of this Popeye's chicken sandwich. So good. Mmm, yum. Big handful of spinach in there too. I need some greens for sure. I have not had a single vegetable in like forever. This is really hard. Just do what you said you were gonna do. 